Guys, this is Isha. Hi, I'm Maya. As always, welcome. Welcome to the Gibang Show. I and forget. don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn your bell on. And we are looking for endorsement. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, email us at. If you have any brands that would like us to be endorsed, send your email to gibangshow at gmail.com. So, Mr. Subru Selvan, he's a new, actually, he's, he just started. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Requesting. But, 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 he the, always the brings up. Is keep coming from him. He brings up a very uh -huh. interesting topic this yeah. time. The topic is we're gonna uh, react to the uh, YouTube channel by mm -hmm. FTD, FTD facts, facts. The ten astonishing facts about Israel. Israel, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know what the, is Israel? The, the, the space India space research organization. No. Maybe I'm not sure actually. <laughs> I know I just call so, them as like the Indian NASA or something. Like uh, don't yeah, kill me. I don't so know. So just uh, check check it out. the video. Out. Space. It is vast, cold, cool, and uninhabitable. A final frontier well, where man has spent hours of, of labor and study <laughs> and research to understand. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we like to educate you guys about every culture and people around the planet. And today, we are looking at a program and an institution that is okay, in the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and communication. Yeah. And the institution we are looking at today is the Indian Space Research Organization, research. which is commonly known as ISRO. Hey guys, what's going on, Dave? <laughs> Here. Now, before I get in this video, I want to know from all you guys which planet is your favorite planet and why. Uranus. Me, I've always liked you know Venus what? because <laughs> Venus was the planet where we discovered <laughs> global warming. Now, for those who are joining us here for the first time, you, you, we take lots right? of yeah, recommendations yeah. from our viewers, <laughs> and we really like to listen to our community. And to prove that we listen to recommendations, this video itself has been recommended by so many of you. Viewers like Crazy Gamer, Annie Rude Rayo, Ishu Rai, Heck Duryo Hanna wouldn't shut up about it, and that like is the stuff that we like to hear. <laughs> and of course, all the rest of you, sorry we can't name them all, because if we were to do it, it would take a whole video of shit. But thanks for recommending it guys and because I'm a space guy I thought we should talk today about the Indian Space Research Organization because it is a really fascinating program one that is known and appreciated worldwide. Now to start off the Indian Space Research Organization was formed on a very special day in India and that was the day of independence which happens every August 15th. However ISRO was formed exactly on August 15th of 1969 by founder Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, and since then it has grown to the giant organization we know of now. Now ISRO is known worldwide, especially to other organizations like the European Space Agency and even NASA. Now normally here on FTD Facts we don't really like to compare like one country's achievements to another country's achievements, but as for ISRO, okay. its budget isn't as nearly as big as NASA's. They spend over 1.2 billion dollars a year, and in the last 40 years they've spent half of what NASA spends in one year. Now in 2008 this program Program launched a rocket with 10 satellites in it. Now that might not seem like much with Russia having the lead of 37 satellites in one rocket, but ISRO has plans to launch a rocket with 83 satellites inside it. They plan to use the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle XL rocket variant to achieve this in 2007. Now two of them will be Indian satellites while the rest of them will all be nano satellites from other countries. Now speaking of their rockets, they have one called the SLV, which stands for Satellite Launch Vehicle. And this was the first rocket to be aimed to take satellites to at least 500 kilometers upward. And to give you an idea of how far that is, the Kármán line, which is the border that separates Earth from space, sits at about 100 kilometers above sea level. Now as for the SLV, the first launch was on August 10th, 1979. And out of the three following tests, only two were successful. Now although they had failures, the space program didn't give up there. No sooner after they launched the ASLV in 1987, which was the augmented satellite launch vehicle. Now this rocket also didn't have much success until the introduction of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, which was introduced in 1993. Now its first test failed, but its second test succeeded on October 15th, 1994. And that was the day India had a reliable vehicle to get to space. 
Now, Chandrayaan-1 was a vehicle launched in October of 2008. Now, this was the first probe India sent to the moon. And it's a good thing they did that because cool, currently like, India is the fourth country to reach the moon space. and plant a flag on its surface. But on November 18th of 2008, the probe was on its way down to the surface when India became the first country to really discover water on the surface of the moon. And after a decade of arguing, scientists have agreed that because of Chandrayaan-1, we only heard one. like usually there is not just America, water in Russia, Russia, on the moon, Russia. but there is water yeah. scattered all over the surface. Yeah. And following yeah. that, in 2014, yeah. India yeah. launched yeah. its yeah. first yeah. probe to Mars. In a feat that took NASA decades to do, the MOM mission has made India the first Asian country to have reached the orbit around Mars. Now, as of December 2016, India has launched over 121 satellites, 79 of them being foreign satellites. Now, on May 23rd, of 2016, ISRO launched its very first space shuttle. This is the reusable launch vehicle technology yeah, 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 which is an unmanned smaller version of the space shuttle, but it is a stage two vehicle that can be reusable, but is currently still in testing. And if this vehicle gets positive results in the next couple of years, it may cut ISRO's production costs by 10 times. Now, the Indian Space Research Organization has made right. amazing accomplishments from its first launch in the 1960s in Thumba, India. Currently, ISRO employs over 15,000 people who work daily at making great strides towards our future. But it doesn't just stop there. India has plans to expand the company by adding in training centers for astronauts and many more departments Departments, which will help further the knowledge of mankind. So that's it for me guys. My name is Dave Wobble and it's been awesome talking about this great institution. I'm glad to hear that other countries are making great strides in their space programs. But you know what guys, if you guys got any facts that we missed, be sure to put them down. Yeah. <clears throat> how I wish, how, how, how I wish that, you know, like Indonesia have its own ISRO. Israel. or NASA. NASA because you know like as a kid like I have this because uh, I, I like I like shows like Star Trek you know uh -huh. and stuff like that and I believe space movie yeah yeah sometimes I believe that a country uh, okay, okay so basically this is this is what I'm, what I'm talking about do you, do you know like in Star Trek there mm -hmm. is no more people don't really uh, use money anymore uh -huh. they don't use religion anymore uh -huh. because in the world of Star Trek uh -huh. it's all about scientific progress uh -huh. and I personally believe uh -huh. a perfect world is like a Star Trek world because you only focus on developing humanity to the next level uh -huh. that's yeah, what I thought I it, I right it. yeah then, now that's what I thought and sometimes whenever I see all these space achievements uh -huh. space uh, programs that's being launched for example there was this small robot that goes to the Mars yeah, yeah, apparently it. it was only planned for six months and, uh -huh. and the guy was traveling around Mars for how many years uh -huh. and recently it just died uh -huh. and Israel also a country of People thought that India is not going to be, you know, one of those countries of the frontier when uh, we talk about uh, space, space program. Yes, and they are the, actually behind the scene. Mm -hmm. They've been how many hundred plus satellites they've been sending in, and they're the first Asian countries to to reach the Mars orbit. I thought that was amazing. That and was sometimes amazing. I wish those achievements uh, will be will happen here in Indonesia. Here. That's what I hope. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in Indonesia, we so, I'm, 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 we just finished our election, and all we talk about mm -hmm. is. Um, religious stuff. Religious, yeah. religious. Mostly political, the religious, religious political <laughs> stuff. Kind of mixed into one. It's a yeah. bad thing, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. And really want to see. Uh -huh. I want to see program. I want to see one of the president, Indonesia president, say, "Hey, you know what? If uh -huh. I become, if you elect me as a president, uh -huh. I will develop a space program where Indonesia can, 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 can fly above and beyond, you know, stuff like that." That's what I thought. Though. But maybe, maybe we should we should focus on uh, the ground first, yeah, because. You see, uh, yeah. outside Jakarta, outside Java, there are so many land that we should build. You know, infrastructure. Uh, especially with the issue about we kind uh, the, the the capital city will be moved to Ooh, yeah. uh, Kalimantan. Of course, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I really because like life is so short. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. I'm, I recently I felt really happy to be mm -hmm. alive because mm -hmm. we are able to watch the full Marvel Cinematic Universe from start <laughs> to finish. <laughs> Not many people can say that, you know. Yeah, Not yeah, many people, yeah, you know, right? And sometimes, you know, and then like I want to see that Indonesia to be 
to be able to achieve that. Uh -huh. I want to see that. You know, I want to experience that. You want Maybe, to be there when it yeah. happens. <laughs> Because uh, it's with all, of, you say that still we, a long time. You say that with all the groundwork that yeah. we need to build, right? Mm -hmm. All the groundwork we need to build, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't think we can experience it during our generation. Uh -huh. It might be like maybe my great grandson that will will experience that. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. But because really though, I really want to to be able to to experience, you know, like like this yeah, yeah, scientific yeah, achievement. Scientific progress, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so anyway, guys, that was very interesting. Yeah. Uh, love to see videos like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as always, we'll see you. Thank you for watching. See ya.